Welcome to Chewing the Cud. It feels like we haven't seen you since last year, but we are back, bringing your weekly roundup of showbiz news, a glimpse of things from the internet, and a seasonal life lesson. And now it's time to say hello to the man who has given up with that new diet on day one. It's Mike. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I have given up on diet day one, but that's because it was a seafood diet. Oh. And I don't really like fish that much. And I've been scraping around the internet to bring you some light-hearted and fun things, including what happens when Facebook suggests a new group. And I have some hot showbiz news, including the story of the return of a Spice Girl. Ooh. Another one, uh -huh. yeah. You can keep in touch with us on all the usual social media sites. Just search for The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us do this show on a podcast, have a search for Chewing the Cud on your favourite podcast app. And if you have interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name on screen right now. It's a new year, Lee, so we're having a fresh scoreboard. Who won last year, though? I think it's fair to say that no one won 2020. Mm, OK. It's time for this week's... Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today as he's off to try a mail-order body hair removal kit with his gentleman friend. He says and it's an incredible feeling when his friend pulls the paper strips and whacks off for him. So while he's busy getting epilated, he's asked her to identify these backwards lyrics. Okay, so this is where we have to work out what the song is from the words that come on screen. And we, backwards. Have, to, we, have, to, we have to use things like noises. We to, have to make yeah. noises, that's correct. What have you got to make noises with? I have got this. You've got a mouth. I've got a mouth. I've got something like that at home. Have you? Mm. Daddy! That's what I'm going to okay. say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's interesting. Um, well, I've used crackers before. Okay. Okay, and as the party season is now over, mm. I have lots of party poppers left. Oh. So I'm okay. going to use poppers. Okay, it's not the first time. Yeah. Shall we get the first one up? Then? Let's, let's do. There. You take, I'll know, you pray, I like just... Oh! <laughs> I screamed and I wasn't going to scream. I was just going to do something different. Okay. <laughs> just Like a Prayer by Madonna. Yeah, uh, I was going to say that. I was going to say that. Um, what well, keeps sniffing me, poppers? Oh, oh. I thought there was a draft. Yeah. Um, okay. Shall we see if I'm right? Let's see if you're right or not. Oh, Yay. yeah. One to you. One to me. Let's have another one. Me loves who somebody. Ah, Daddy! Ah, <laughs> oh, Daddy! <laughs> um, I think. <laughs> I think it's Whitney Houston. Uh -huh. I want to dance with somebody who loves me. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. It is. Yay! <laughs> this is going to get old so, so quickly. Already happened. <laughs> it was never new. <laughs> it was never new. <laughs> should, should we pull the next one up, see what happens? Let's see. People. Street light. Feeling. The. Two. On. Hold. Believing. Stop. Oh! Don't Stop Believing by S Club 7. I don't think it is. <laughs> I think uh -huh. it's um, Justin Trouser Snake uh -huh. with Don't Stop Believing. Okay. I don't know if that's one of his songs. <laughs> so I'm saying S Club 7, Don't Stop Believing. Um, and you're... Oh, I'm going to come back. I'm going to stop the feeling. <laughs> or feeling. Yeah, not right. believing. Yeah. Okay. What you said. Right. <laughs> Should we see what the answer actually is? Yeah. Oh. Don't stop believing my journey. Neither of us got that one right. No. Although technically in my head that's what I was. Don't stop believing. But that's not the that's right not, song. That's not the right song. It's don't, don't stop, stop believing. believing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what the next one is. 
sun. My knot is hit. Oh, stop it! I'm doing what? That's Billy Jean by Michael Jackson. The kid is not my son. Shall we see? Let's see. You got it, it right. Yeah. I can do a different voice for you. Yeah? <laughs> go a bit more ma. I can go a bit more masculine. No. 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 I've enjoyed this part of Poppy thing. Yeah, good for you. It's fun. Shall we pull one up? Did ever legend your before. Me! It's me! <laughs> um, Candle in the Wind by Sir Elton of John. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Seems to me you lived your life like a candle in the wind. <laughs> I am loving it. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we see if you're yeah, right? Yeah, let's see. Woo! Right. Got one it does it when I'm not even... So Woo! It, it yeah. does, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> do, should, we, should we do a midway point check? Let's, let's check in on the points so far. Okay. Oh, two, one. Two, is that really possible? I thought I yeah. had more than that. No, because you kept getting it wrong. Okay. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Shh, little mouth. <laughs> Shh, little mouth on the desk. Stop it. <laughs> right, shall we pull one up then? Okay. Green. Green. What's your green? Oh, is it me or you? I can't remember now. Green and red, gold, red, gold, red, gold, red, gold. Green and gold. I think it might be green and something to do with green and gold. Dream red, gold, my. What? Oh! Come on a chameleon by Boy George. Come on a chameleon? That's what it's called, isn't it? I think you'll find it's Karma Chameleon. I don't know, it came out before I was born. So, if it is come on a chameleon, you get the point. <laughs> if it is karma chameleon, I'm having that point. So let's see. Karma chameleon. Oh, yeah. So I do believe... Oh, I do believe... <laughs> <laughs> At least my noisemakers don't keep going off. <laughs> no, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have that point, because that was that was ye, what you said was wrong. Oh, OK. <laughs> that is it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, before let's... the show, you said this is the one that makes you angry. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's have another one. One, the four, search. Let me! Oh, you stopped reading them. So. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> you stopped reading out what was on screen. So I'm going to go it. straight away. I think it's Viva Forever by the Spice Girls. Oh, the Spice Girls. Spice Girls. Spice oh, it only took me back of that, did Oh, girl power. Um, shh. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see if it is. Have a one now. Uh huh. Have a one. The whole no. thing. No, oh, there's more to no, go. There's a lot more to oh, go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's pull the next one up. Creation, your is life. Imagination, everywhere. Imagination. Me under. Oh, under. I know it. <laughs> 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 It's um, Aqua and Barbie Girl. Right, okay. Hey, Bobby, wanna party? That one. That's, that's the dude, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Should we get this up soon, please? <laughs> Yay! Hey. 2021. Woo, 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 woo. Right, and I'll, I'll read the next one out then. Yeah. Distance. Your. Keep, don't, promise, my, kept. <laughs> don't cry for me, Argentina. Oh. 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 From Evita. Evita. Madonna or... Um, Elaine Page. Elaine Page. Now, knowing the producer like I do, um, I would say Elaine Page. Mm. But probably because it's bitched at you, I would say Madonna. That was shade. Um, let's see whichever one. Let's whichever see one, because it's, it's the right song. Shh. Yes. So, so I did say from Evita. I actually yeah, sang from yeah, Evita. Yeah, you got it right. You got it right. Yeah. You got it right. <laughs> that thing needs to stop making noise. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, have we got time for one more? We've got time for one We've more. We've got time for one more. Yeah. OK. Little mouth, get ready. Wim oh. oh, I know it already! <laughs> <laughs> um, I th 
think uh-huh. it's The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Okay. Um, bye. By Tight Fit. Okay. A whim, a wee, a whim, a wee. <laughs> Please, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the show with you, Nick. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I think I've won. Shall we just, shall we just see? Five, three to Mike. No, not five, three to Mike. Five to me, three to <laughs> well, you. I've just been whispered in my ear, five, three to Mike. No, I've, I've so that means I win. No, you don't. Five, three to Mike, I said in my ear. It's not five, three to Mike, because I've what, got... That's what the, that's whatever. What I was told we'll in my ear. Whatever. <laughs> let's, not, let's not make 2021 all about you again. Um, <laughs> um, um, OK, so keep counting down the minutes until we bring you another special life lesson. But before that, we have Lee with the Showbiz News. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. If Judy Garland was playing her most famous role, he would be her friend. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. It's true. Mm. I've even got it on my book. Friend of Dorothy. Mm-hmm. Oh. 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 Yes. Mm. A lot of my loafers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, on your loafers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you never heard that term, light on your loafers? Always oh, light on his loafers, he is. No. No? No, but then I wasn't around in the 1900s. <laughs> so, um... In the First World War. Yeah. <laughs> let's do some showbiz news. Yes, let's. Um, are you a fan of a medical drama? I, I do love a British medical drama. Oh, not so much the American. No, because they're too serious. I like the ones that oh, are so quite so really you, silly. What about Grey's, Anat- Grey's Anatomy? It was OK. It's still going. Is it really? Still being, it's still going. They're and still making it. Still making Grey's Anatomy. It's on season 17 in, in the US. I can't believe it. That is, so, um, in the current mm-hmm. woo, dimension mm-hmm. of Grey's Anatomy, they have um, a same-sex couple. Now, they were together, and okay. now they're not together in the show. OK. Um, but they have... So they've, they're back filming stuff, mm. and they've included this kind of scene that kind of fits in with, like, COVID and the pressures that, that medical staff are under. Mm-hmm. So these two gentlemen... So one is called Dr Levi Schmidt. OK. And his ex-boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, so Levi Schmidt... I don't know why I'm saying that, that Schmidt... He is the one in the glasses, uh-huh. and his ex mm-hmm. is Nico Kim. Okay, okay. Um, so in uh, this episode that's just aired of, of Grey's Anatomy, they go into a um, store closet, a support mm-hmm. closet, um, to have a little bit of relief to relieve their tension of, of being doctors. So just like a, a like a, a bit of a cry or a bit of a hug. <laughs> it, stress relief. So like stress relief. balls. No, sexy stuff. Yeah, sexy stuff. Yeah, so yeah, stress relief. Don't, don't, don't try to make me look. You know. I know what. You're never out of the bloody supply closet. You having a bit of. Stress I, I came relief. out of the closet many, many years ago. Right, I'm not been so, it since. So basically, these two, they've had a stressful day, uh-huh. saving lives, doing yep. that rib spreader thing that they do in all the American rib spreader. <laughs> Okay. Um, and one of them offers mm-hmm. the other one a bit of stress relief down below. You mean like a handy five? A gobble. A gobble. A gobble, yeah. OK. okay. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's just cut to it. <laughs> let's just cut, let's just cut to the chase. All the waffle and a stuff. A blowjob. <gasps> OK, so that's all well and good. But because it is COVID times... Oh, yeah, that's not safe. One of the doctors says, <clears throat> can I leave a mask on? No is the answer to that. Yes. He was... He, so, in... So... You can't, you can't do a, a Rudy Judy hello with a did. mask over. So, the, re, the one that was giving it kept his mask on. OK. And the other one just stood there and, was in, and enjoyed the experience. Right. And apparently, this is um, an actual bona... <laughs> <laughs> You're about to say bona fide. It's a bona fide. <laughs> um, health expert recommendation. That you put a mask over and then try and put a willy through. Yeah, yeah. So they're saying that say, a, a good way of safer sex is to, pr- to practice oral sex with your mask on. That's not going to be fun. Well, not. F- well. Tans is, tans is lean. You take what you get. It's not that lean. 
And apparently this has been dubbed the most 2020 thing to happen. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, it is. Yeah. So um, they went on social media, kind of posted about it. Um, apparently stress relief is the American code for oral sex. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so That's basically a change for all the stress relief courses I've been on. Um, you hurt your knees when you do that, don't you? On a course. Mm. Yeah. Um, so he, so one of the actors posted on Twitter that this had happened, and then somebody who was a big um, Valentina fan from Drag Race Twenty Twenty cool. posted, "I'd like to keep it on." So yeah, we have the yeah, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> so um, I haven't seen it. They don't. They didn't actually show the actual act. Oh, what so. Is so oh, obviously story. there was one with his mask on. Uh -huh. He kind of keep the mask on, and he was like, "Yeah." So then he then he kind of lowered, uh -huh. and then it was focused on the other one's face, going, <laughs> going <laughs> like that, um, and his glasses steamed up. Um, okay. So yeah, yay for yay for safe sex um, in COVID times. Um, let's push that to the side. Okay. Yeah. Wipe our lips and push it. To well, you wouldn't need to. No, you mask wouldn't. On. No, because it would be in the front of your mask. Oh, throw it away. Um, don't rinse it through. Um, <laughs> so, another one of the questions of our time. Is Lisa Simpson gay? Right, okay. Apparently it's quite complicated. Well, it would be. She's had boyfriends in the past. Ah, well, you see, this is what's going on on the Tinder web at the moment. Okay. So, um, rumours apparently are that Lisa Simpson could be queer. Okay. Um, even though you're right, Lisa, to say that over the years she's had boyfriends. Who, who was she? She was... Um, she had, like, a crush on, like, a teen star at one point in the show. Yeah, and she's had um, the Irish guy in the Simpsons movie. Oh, ne was it Nelson Muntz? Did she yeah, have a bit of a... Nelson Muntz yeah, as well. Um, but, however, people are saying that there are signs in the Simpsons, like... Um, are they called Easter eggs? They are called Easter eggs. Yeah. Easter eggs that kind of give the clue that she might actually not be straight. Okay. So, for example, they say in episode 23 of okay. The Holiday of Future Past, mm -hmm. uh, it opens with a montage of photographs of, of the future of The Simpsons. And there's one of all the family sat on the, the sofa, and Lisa is sat holding hands with two women on the sofa. Okay. So we've got a picture. So that's the Lisa Simpson as she is now. Uh-huh. And then this picture that we've got um, is, is the picture of them all on the sofa, where she's, if you look, she is Ooh. actually holding hands. She is indeed, yeah. That's one of the clues. Mm -hmm. And then and another one. In season 29, Mrs. Le Mr. Lisa's opus, it flashes forward to her being 18, mm -hmm. and she's about to go to Harvard University. Um, and by the end of the episode, she is seen holding hands with a girl who she hints may be more than a friend. Okay. Now, does, does it really matter whether she is or she isn't? Yeah. <laughs> um, but what's kicked off mm. is, is that the lady that does her voice, uh -huh. Yardley Smith or Yardley Smith, um, she's kind of said that... So then somebody asked her, is Lisa Simpson bisexual? Um, she's replied, I'm totally open to the possibilities of her exploring other ways of life, but she's eight. Mm -hmm. um, and then she said, people in the LGBTQ community often say, I knew from the get-go, but in my heart and soul, Lisa is eight and she loves girly things. Which has literally made boom. Why? Why? Because people are like saying, are you saying that at eight years old you didn't know mm. that you were gay? Um, did you, you didn't know that you were, you were aware of your sexuality? Um, it's quite a sweeping statement to say she's an eight-year-old girl, mm -hmm. she likes girly things, therefore she can't be. Yeah. I kind of think it's a cartoon. It's not yeah. real. People do like to get in a bit of a twist about cartoons and, yeah. and things. Um, but, I mean, some kids do have a gender identity at the age of eight. Some kids don't. No. And it's complete... Everything's OK, so it doesn't really matter whether she does identify as straight or she doesn't or she identifies as gay or queer or bisexual or pansexual or however. Or if she goes, I'm eight years old, I don't know what you're talking about. Makes or no I'm a cartoon and I don't exist. Yeah. That, that also yeah. true. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, that, so go on Twitter and put your feedback what you think. Whatever. Yeah. Return of Ginger Spice. <laughs> is this the new, Se new Star Wars seamlessly. movie? Seamlessly. <laughs> is this the new Star, Star Wars, Wars movie? Yeah. Let's just remind ourselves of what, of what Ginger used to look like. A drag queen. 
Well, ha she had for ages of drag queen, didn't she? She, yeah. We kind of go from uh, on the scale from left to right. Fresh faced, union drag famous, mega drag by the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so. They had the reunion a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brilliant, yeah. Um, and she has decided that she's going to be doing something. So she's not going back into music. Okay. Everybody breathe a sigh of relief. She's not doing any music. But she is... <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Breathe a sigh of relief. My Chico Latino. Bag it up. These are, these are seminal moments of music history. Whilst they were bangers... <laughs> It is, you know, undoubtedly, you cannot deny. The vocalism was not good. Was it not? No. Oh, I think it's it great. I'm bringing it back. <laughs> it's coming back. Machicolatino! That is literally what it had always sounded like. Machicolatino! <laughs> 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 well, <It's more> <laughs> but, yeah, okay. <laughs> so she's, she's launched a series called Rainbow Woman. Okay. And it's all about sort of influential women um, through the ages. It's a little bit of a slant on LGBTQ. Okay. Um, so every week she's releasing um, a video onto YouTube um, of, of something that inspires her. So the latest one is her dress as Elizabeth I. Okay. So it's kind of, they're not very long. They're about five, ten minutes long. Um, so it's not great, um, to be fair. Mm. Um, her acting skills are not brilliant okay um got her on the stairs there yeah so she's yeah she so she, she does a speech mm. that queen elizabeth the first did um and yeah and in the end she's talking to a pug dressed in a ruffle actually music wise she is going to like play new music at the end of each good one. that's what i like to hear i just new album please jerry new album really yeah, yeah. do you remember Love that it. awful cover that not cover that tribute she did to george michael who was one of her best friends mm. that it was just lines of his song mm -hmm. that she'd put to a tune yeah no it's awfully brilliant mm. anyway um that's the end of this week's showbiz news thank you lee coming soon we have our life lesson but before that we have the same old tud that he rolls out every week it's mike in the buzz Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. So let's have some fun. His beat is sick. Let's have a ride on his disco stick. It's Mike and the Buzz. Have you just quoted Lady Gaga at me? Yes. Ah, hello there. Yes. Yeah, interesting. Yes, yes. Hmm. Um, Well, thanks for that. Totally welcome. Okay. Now, Lee, while I've been footing around on the internet, mm -hmm. yeah, um, I found out that a lot of people have these concerns when, you know, you say things out loud in front of smart devices. Yeah. Like you say something in front of Alexa and the next thing you'll know, it pops up. Yeah, I don't have one of those, but I know what. Yeah. Um, do you know that when you, you like things on like places like Facebook, it will also use that as a suggestion yes. for things? Okay. Well, imagine my surprise as I got this notification pop up on social media. Notorious Serial Killers is a suggested group because I viewed Lovely roast dinner group. Okay. So there's a, there's a link there somewhere. Meat. I'm not sure where meat. <laughs> serial killers and roast dinners both use meat. Well, didn't quite a few serial killers eat their victims? Well, cannibals. Yeah. Uh, so not that I'm aware not of. that far of a stretch. You kind of like <laughs> unpick it. Sunday roast, human flesh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's. Quite a stretch. It is quite a stretch, but it, it's not in the uh, the realms of, of not. <laughs> so, so going. Oh, this lovely roast dinner. Look at them Yorkshire puddings. Oh, I ate his spleen. You know, I don't know how the algorithms work. Oh, algorithms. Did you like oh, that? Yeah. That like it was brilliant. <laughs> <ears. laughs> no, I do look myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, something else that I've I've spotted on on Facebook. Mm. Okay, is a new gadget. So we all love a gadget. gadget. Gidget gadget. Gidget gadget, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, something to protect your, your wares, shall we say, in the kitchen. Oh, OK, in the yeah. kitchen. What's your favourite kitchen gadget? Fridge. The fridge. It's <laughs> 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 not really a gadget, Lee. It, it, it gives me everything I need. <laughs> Light. <laughs> Light. A cool breeze. A cool breeze in the summer. Somewhere to sleep. Yes. <laughs> 
with a ham in my mouth. <laughs> OK. <laughs> That's moved more to bedroom than kitchen. But, um, well, a new, new thing has come out to help you protect your handles. Oh. The pots. Yeah, because you know you don't want to burn yourself when you use no, a hand hurt, in the pot. No, um, And these lovely knitted inventions have been been shared with us all. Is so that when your the handle house? is too hot, the <laughs> sorry. Is that not your house? Is that That's not your not... kitchen? No, no I, I don't have that much lace. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's more likely to be yours. Um, so when your handle is far too hot, place one of these beauties on, therefore protecting your hands from plastic burns. Oh, nice little cover for your for your handle. It's a dildo. A woolen dildo. Oh, is it? See, I can't see properly. <laughs> I just thought they'd just they just ram loads of dildos on the end of the <laughs> on the end of the pans. No, they're wool. Oh, so they knitted, they've knitted <laughs> they've, them. They've knitted these oh, animal holders. Okay. Right. Still look like woolen they just look like woolen dildos now. <laughs> a woolen dildo. A knitted dildo. <laughs> That's not going to be comfortable. Is it not? Think about where you're going no, to... No, 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 not for that, but that's what they look like. What should, oh, whoever... Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whatever. All right, OK. Um, and if something tickles your fancy, and I don't mean the Olympic wrestling team, why not share it with us? Just give us a tag on using the Could TV on all the social media platforms. And that brings us to our story of the week. Logos and art and things. So, like, our lovely C logo is world famous. Because mm. it's on the World Wide Web. It so, is. Right. What logos do you think of when you think of a brand? Um, so do you think like Coca-Cola and that um, sort of thing? or um, I think of the cock from um, the cock sportif. <laughs> from... <laughs> the, the, oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. OK, the big chicken -y thing. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Not what I thought you were going on about then. No. Yeah. Well, you can imagine how much effort and thought has to go into these designs. Hours. Hours, yeah. Mm. Or moments. Oh. Yeah. If you don't plan it ahead, plan ahead properly. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, on social media, I found a graphic designer that has fixed nine of the worst logos ever. Oh, okay. Okay. So I've got the first one here for mm -hmm. you. What do you think that, that's supposed to be? Well, you see, I've got a filthy, corrupted mind. Okay. So the before uh -huh. looks like, you know, a, a a, a, a pee pee going up a bottom. A pee pee going up a bottom? Yeah, that, in that adult kind of way that you say it. <laughs> in, that, in that special kind of yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like, the first one. Yeah, and then the second one is actually what a it's supposed pagoda. to be. A pagoda. A pagoda, yes. Mm. Well done, yeah. Another new word oh. for you. Oh, I'll need to lie down soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we've got the next one, mm. okay, which is fire prevention products. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's a picture of a flame. Yes, a flaming a vagina. No, it's not a vagina. It's just a flame. Oh, but, but one would uh, would yes. You went straight for vagina. Yeah, which is the first time that's happened. Is it the first time you've gone straight for vagina? Well, yeah. <laughs> yes, apart from when I was born, <laughs> and then I was getting out of it. Um, <laughs> Last time you touched one, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, me too. Um, and then we have another one. Okay. Uh, which is the computer doctors. Can you see what the first... I can see, <laughs> yes. My, my ageing vision <laughs> is focused on it. And it, what's, what is supposed to be a mouse looks like a bell end. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed saying that. Then, I you? did, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, and the last one we have is from Arlington Paediatric Centre. Ooh. Yeah. Which is just a parent holding a child. Mm, at, at, a, at an unfortunate level. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, neither of those are particularly very good. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah. That, the, the second one, yeah. <laughs> From, yeah. Because the first one looks like what? First one, um, am I allowed to say these things? Am I allowed well, to say well, what? Well, say what? it and we'll see. Well, that first one looks like the kid is... I'm not going to say child, because that's weird, and we're going out a different... Smaller person. Yeah, smaller person is giving the taller person a blowjob. OK. Yeah. Might not um, be a blowjob. No, yeah. Might be some cunnilingus. Yes. How, how, how ignorant of me. Yeah. There are other things apart from penises in the world. Um, <laughs> are there? Um, the second one... There's, there's roast hams. Yeah. There's potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, there's sorts of, yeah. uh, the second one... Looks like somebody's been taken from behind. <laughs> <laughs> but they have improved it. They're slightly. Yes. Yeah. Well, I know which one I prefer. 
I would say probably both. No, I prefer the bottom one. Do you prefer the bottom I one? I prefer the bottom oh, one. Oh, you would be the smaller one, smaller person. Yeah, but... Yeah. 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 Well, anyway, well... <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that, Mike. No problem. Um, I'm, I'm feeling uncomfortable and I need to go for a cold shower with wire wool. Now, I thought I'd treat you to two stories of the week this Ooh. week. Because I, I like to spoil you. Ooh. Okay. And this is news from the Metro. The Metro. The Metro. Which is after a poll, a third of people only wash their bed sheets once a year. I, I, I was hoping for a reaction there rather than just go, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Maybe once every six months. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my hands up. I'm gonna hold my hands up. I don't I don't change it that often. How often do you change your bed sheets? A couple every couple of months. Couple of months. Depending on what's been going on. <laughs> depending, on what's, <laughs> depending on what's been going on. Things if you've had an upset tummy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would hope you change them a lot more frequently if you've had a hot, hot. You know, Febreze is a marvellous thing. Okay. Once you get out of your bed in the morning, if there's, mm -hmm. if the, you know, if there's no droolage marks okay. on your pillows, if there's no, you know, if, if you're somebody who sleeps necker, mm -hmm. there's no skiddy marks or anything like that on your sheets. <laughs> <laughs> right? If it's not particularly hot and it's not sweaty, I don't see the problem with just a spritz. Okay. You see, I change mine every week. Do you? Every week. Um, Maybe twice a week in the summer. Really? That's because you're a filthy man. <laughs> well, I mean, what, co what colour are your bed sheets for? They're multi. Well, you know, it's me. <laughs> so, um, you know, <laughs> stuff slides right off glitter and sequin. <laughs> you know. So, really, what you're saying is you don't wash them because they're wiped clean? No, they, I just can't be arsed. <laughs> Do you not like the fresh bedding? Yeah, that's lovely. I just yeah. can't be asked. The whole rigmarole is just so exhausting. What? So you know, taking it all off, putting it in the washing machine, hanging it out. Yes, I have other sets. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Um, is it exactly one just set. after one set? Um, uh, some might say just get rid of the hay and the straw, and put some fresh in <laughs> on the floor. Um, <laughs> um, oh, that was weird. It sounded like somebody was knocking at the yeah, door. Yeah, it did. It's the filth, please. Um, so yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I do it mm -hmm. every couple of weeks, sometimes a bit longer. So you do change them more often than, like every month. You just you do them like every few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Going, yeah. Let's do that again with feeling, Lee. We're going with that then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I, I can't sleep in dirty bed sheets. Well, you know, I'm not sleeping in rancid old rags. It's you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you, do you wear pyjamas as well? Mm. No. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Oh, it depends what the weather's like. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wear something in bed. Oh, okay. Well, mm. Mm. Chanel behind each knocker. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've always my ears. They're my knockers. Um, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Um, well, that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thank you very much for that, Mike, to highlight the fact that I'm a filthy hobo. Um, coming up next is our life lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time for this week's... Life Lessons. Now, this week I'm going down to memory lane. Do you remember back in your, well, I was going to say your childhood in the 80s, but um, do you remember those snap bands you used to have? Yeah, yeah. Did you have lots of those? Um, I have one or two. Yeah. Did you know you can actually make those? Can you? You can indeed. And you only need three things. Really? Yes. Oh. So you'll need a tape measure. Okay, of, of a length. Okay, a pair of scissors. Snip, snip. And some sticky tape. Just a tiny length. Tiny length of sticky tape. You can have some more if you need some okay. sticky tape. Okay. Now, it's. I have to give you a forewarning. If you're using someone else's tape measure, mm. it will make this unusable. Oh. Okay, so as soon as we do the first step, yeah. this tape measure will be useless. Oh. So it's highly wasteful. Turtles. Okay, lots of turtles. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to make more than one, you'd have to do a long length. Okay. Um, but for you, 
for just one, okay, you want around about 14 inches. Okay. It's quite, quite an inch. It's quite a long on a Saturday maybe. night for you. Yeah. Um, in centimetres, that is 35 and a half centimetres. But if in doubt, it's a tape measure. Yeah. Um, so cut along the 14 inch mark. Okay. 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 And if you put the little thing down as hard as you can. It oh, yeah. Yeah. The stopper. Just the stopper. If you do that, it's gone it's forever. Gone forever. Gone forever. Yeah. Okay. And this is going to be your snap band. Is it? This is indeed. Okay. So you should now have a length. I have a but length. At one end, you'll have a, a widgety bit. Yeah. You don't want the widgety bit. Oh, do you not? No, because that's going to jab in your arm, isn't it? Ooh. You don't want something safety. jabbing. Yeah. No. So you're going to trim that end off as well. Okay. Okay. Done it. There we go. So now you've got this is your snap band. Groovy. Uh-huh. Now it's a lovely yellow colour. Yeah. You can cover them in, in different patterns and things if you wanted to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but the first thing you need to do is soften these edges off. Oh, no one wants them. a half ed a hard edge. No. Okay. So with a bit of your tip. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I've lost my end. There we go. All right. You've got to wrap your end in a bit of tape. Not the first time you've said that, is it? It's not. Not even just the first time today, to be fair. Okay. You got it's very muted sort of industrial colours, this, isn't it? It is, it is. It, it's a, a, a derelict for those people that have watched um, that film with what's his face in it. You're the one that does showbiz, not me. <laughs> Derelict, the what's its face film with who's in Yeah, what's it, the it? one that does the, the look and bed stuff. Blue Steel. What's it called? What are you talking about? There's a movie. <laughs> There's a movie. <laughs> what's the movie called I'm trying to think of? They play with petrol and all sorts and they're models and they're really, really good looking. Is it porn? No, it's not porn. <laughs> is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it Charlotte's Web? It's not Charlotte's Web, no. No. Um, Sophie's Choice? It's not. No, it's, it's a film about fashion. And oh, it's got... The Devil Wears Prada? No, the guy that does the posing, and he goes like... At the oh. camera, apparently, is a model. OK, I don't know. And it, it's the... Oh, yeah. Anyway. I, I do. Um, I know exactly what it is. But I'm just making it's, it it's, it's, ah, it's Zoolander. Zoolander, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to see if that vein in the side of your head could, could really, really come out. No. But, um, um, what, what we... while, while you've been mocking me, what I've been doing is I've been trimming the end. Have you? Yes. Into a nice little curve. Oh, OK. It's a nice soft curve. Yeah? You don't want a point, you want a curve. And then you trim trim the sides of your tape off as well. Done that. You need to do that on both ends. Okay. I think of, of, of all the life lessons that, that we have done, <laughs> this is, this the is worst. by far <laughs> <laughs> the most useless. Well, to be fair, you have done um, great things with knitting before. Yes. And tie-dye. Yeah. I want to say great. Okay. Yeah. And now all we need to do is give it a bit of a bend. So you need to do... So what we need to do here is you get your, your pattern side with all the numbers on. Mm -hmm. Right, down. And then bend it in half. And you just want to get keep bending it this way. Yeah. And you want to do it as, quite as firmly and as tightly as you can. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because what you were doing there just take forever. Okay. 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 <laughs> What's with the face? You've been mocking me about Zoolander, so you've got nowhere to talk. Oh, I'm just going to... I'm going to roll it up into a yeah. circle. See, I, I've not... You need to make sure that you're consistent, otherwise you get something like that. OK. So I've gone too firm in places, not firm enough in others. I 
<laughs> You're folding it now. Yeah, it's not going well. It's not oh, going well. When, when can we get real humans back in? <laughs> <laughs> Says the man that has had me having underpants on my head. I said we were scraping the barrel now. <laughs> Next week is counting your own teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Using someone else's tongue. Yeah. <laughs> it's not COVID secure. Um, okay, whatever that is. You've just folded it. But now when you straighten it out. Yeah. It's all crinkly where mine's quite straight. It's not worked, man. <laughs> it's not worked. No, because you folded your tape measure. It's not worked. Isn't it? No, I love it. Just get something. Ah, it's pattern side up. You, 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 you did the wrong instructions. I did the wrong thing there. Well, it's but all yes, ruined now. It is all ruined there, and I've broken my tape measure. I haven't, but I really don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Will you cut me off a piece then, please? <laughs> do you want a length? I want a length. Oh, what's two lots of 14? 28. So I've got 28 inches there. <laughs> no, I've got 29, I've got extra. So yes, so it's pattern side up when you're folding it. Or well, not folding it, twisting it. Oh, that works better. That's, that's why it wasn't working for you, Lee. Wouldn't well, it not just be quicker to just buy a, a one off the internet and a, a ready band. made, yeah. What, where would you buy a snap band from? The 1980s. <laughs> you know the internet's not time machine, right? It's not working, Mike. Yeah. The, uh, in general. I mean, you see, look, what, what is that all yeah, about? You just have to keep going. <sighs> yeah. See, mine, mine kind of works, because it can snap it, and it kind of just... Yeah, I'm just going to put it down. I'm just going to say stop there. Okay. I'm just going to stop there. But, well, that's, that's your life lesson for this week. Is it more like snap it around your wrist? Well, I've not done it enough. When you, when these were, the proper ones were around... Yeah. Were you ever tempted mm. to not... <laughs> if you're thinking about snapping it around somewhere else, no. Did you never do that, just to say? No. Because I was very small when these were popular. <laughs> and that would have been a kind of criminal offence. I was 48. Yes, I'm aware. We have come to the end of the show for now. But if you can't hold out for a week, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for The Cud TV on social media, the TV for our website. And while you're on the website, have a look at the support section for our exclusive clips, including outtakes. And like the last page of barely readable text before the ink cartridge finally runs out, we've just enough time to squeeze in our photo of the week, which this time comes from Fifi in Fufu. No, not Fifi in Fufu. Fifi La Fufu. It comes from Fifi La Fufu, who writes, when eating spank, is it safe to swallow? Yes. Instant answer from me. Yes, it is. To be fair, mm. spunk makes up one of your five a day. It's high in protein. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>